with Tony Shaver, head coach of the William and Mary Tribe, getting ready to take on the Old Dominion Monarchs in the CAA Championship. And coach, Old Dominion put on a pretty dominating performance on the inside yesterday. Gerald Lee scored, I think, 26 points, and they really got after it on the glass. Um, your hybrid defense has a tendency to slow those kinds of teams down. Do you have anything special for tonight, or is it just William and Mary basketball? Now we're going to play seven guys on the defensive end tonight. I put three on Gerald Lee, but. Uh, now we really won't do anything much different. We, you know, in our defensive approach, we, you know, we play man, we play matchup, but we, depending on the team, we'll, you know, we can do things inside to stop people. If it's a great shooting team, we can build it out as well. So, but that is the key to, to beating Old Dominion is to, to handle their inside strength. And uh, honestly, in the first two games this year, we've handled their initial re their actions very well. But we have not rebounded the ball. They have absolutely destroyed us on the boards. I think they had 28 offensive rebounds last time we played them. So that that has to be a focus for us tonight. Gotcha. Now, um, David Schneider, um, Northeastern really crowded him and made it tough to get an open look yesterday. I know you probably expect a lot more of that today. Well, we do, although I expect a lot of zone out of Old Dominion, quite honestly. They played a lot of zone in both games against us. Uh, using their length and their athleticism. But David and Quinn McDowell are two guys that clearly people are trying to take out of our offense right now. And that's why the sort of the reemergence of Danny Sumner has been very important for us. He's given us third score on the floor and, and made us a more potent weapon. Now, I wanted to ask about Quinn. He's one for six so far in the tournament, but the conference is leading three point shooter. Uh, will you maybe run a couple plays for him early to get him just kind of in a rhythm? We'd love to. Quinn is quite honestly battered up pretty bad right now. He's got a number of injuries that have really slowed him down, but he's such a warrior. He'll be out here ready to go tonight. Great. Thanks, Coach. We Thank appreciate you. it. Old Dominion head coach Blaine Taylor getting ready for the CA finals. The Old Dominion Monarchs will be taking on the William and Mary tribe. And coach, I asked Gerald Lee yesterday about his big game and does he step up big time in tournaments? And he rightfully deferred and said, I get good passes and we share the ball. Is that a key tonight? Well, I think sometimes kids get too much blame, too much credit. You know, you, you, you have games where the other team surrounds you and it's hard to get the ball, make plays, and say, hey, you didn't play good. And then other games, you do the job when your teammates do the job and get you the ball. And I think Gerald's going to have to work very hard tonight for what he gets. Uh, you know, the style of defense that William & Mary plays is going to be, you know, reclustered in the paint. And so Gerald's going to have to work hard to, to be productive. Uh, but, uh, you know, Gerald is a team guy. He's un unselfish to a fault. Uh, he had a great game yesterday. I, I couldn't imagine a better performance under the circumstances. Now, do you think Frank Cassell, who had two really good games against William & Mary during the season, is that something that he'll use as a motivator or a confidence boost to maybe be that alter ego, I guess, for uh, for Gerald? Well, it's a good sequence of questions, Michael, because <laughs> uh, Gerald gets so much attention that, that, that Frank gets loose and Keon gets loose. So sometimes, you know, you... You know, they work so hard to stop the run in football that you get a bunch of passes, and that's kind of what happens with Gerald. He gets, if he gets a bunch of attention, the other guys can either get the rebounds or get some tight touches or, you know, get some open shots. And uh, so that's why, you know, balance is very important in college basketball. Uh, even though you might have a great player, you've got to have other guys to go with them. Uh, you see it in the NBA. I mean, the, the, the superstars, if they're not surrounded by other players, they can't get where they want to go. Now, I want to ask about a key for this game, and in the game that you won that was the 16-point game, you really pounded them on the glass, and the tight game down there, the 58-55 game, it was a lot closer. So other than rebounding being a key, as it always is, what else are you looking at today to be successful? Well, I mean, I'm sure that they're worried about the boards. We're worried about the boards, uh, but there are other things going on, as you say, and, uh, you know, it, it's really a chess match. Uh, 
you know, us guarding them at their end, they're a very difficult team to guard. They're, they're uh, you know, they score quick if they can, but they'll be patient if they need to. You know, uh, scoring against their defense, you can score quick sometimes, but you got to be patient when you need to. So, it won't, you know, we've scored in the 80s and the 70s the last two games. Uh, this is probably going to be a lower scoring game. Their, their game yesterday was 47-45. So it, it'll be more of a chess match game than, than the up and down, exciting, you know, there they go, the horses are coming out of the gate kind of stuff we've had the last couple of days. Great. Thanks, Coach. Good luck. Thank you, Mike.